Hi everyone and welcome to today's community town hall. It's so uh, nice to be here. I also have uh, Sylvia and Johnny with me on stage today. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good one. We will be talking uh, about everything that's new in sessions, things that are coming soon and also a very exciting contest. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that this webinar will be recorded um, and posted to YouTube. And also feel free to chat. Um, Livia and Danny, my lovely colleagues, are in the chat. So they'll help you and answer your questions. And also feel free to type your questions in the Q&A and we'll do our best to answer them later. Also, you'll see a life-size dinosaur behind me. But uh, it's not dangerous, don't worry. Um, a little icebreaker before we dig in. Can you please tell me if there's anything you don't like in sessions? Something that you would like to change? You can type directly on screen. Nice, getting some answers. Better poles, things need to be glued better together. More poles, dark mode. Payments. Live stream. I think there'll be good news soon for some of you. Okay, better recording quality. Recording, but it's gotten better. Nice. Um, so guys, are we ready for the update? On uh, multi-day events. Brainstorming in Britain. Awesome. Thanks for your feedback, everyone. I'm going to hand over to Sobian with the session status update. Uh -huh. Hello, I hope you can hear me. Um, thank you, Carla, for being the loveliest webinar host I know. Um, hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see uh, that many familiar faces with us uh, today. Um, hi, Gloria, uh, Eduardo, Imad, Doug, uh, Tanya, and all of you. So excited to do this with you. Um, now, we are doing this for the first time, and we hope you'll come aboard and love the experience. Uh, also, we are launching a contest and are offering money for the winners, but Johnny, our COO, will offer all the details and explain the rules uh, in a few minutes. But firstly, uh, let me walk you through uh, what we delivered lately based on your input, your feedback, and also what's in the oven right now. Um, thank you for your support and effort. You provided generous insights for us. Uh, this year okay so what we uh, delivered let's dive in um, some memory uh, notes update um, you are now able to edit your personal notes in memory um, then um, register and sign up with uh, your apple account um, we made some transcript updates you can pin messages um, and uh, you can also see all the pins later on in memory. Um, also, we uh, come up with uh, improvements on custom branding for the exit page. Uh, you can have sessions, um, call to actions, uh, and um, they have also been sessions call to actions have been removed from your exit page and you can play with it you, you can customize new call to actions and we also removed that um, label um, powered by sessions 
uh, badge in the footer uh, for AppSumo Tire 5 uh, accounts and for business uh, accounts too. Um, also, we delivered the two-way sync for iCloud Calendar. You will now automatically see booked sessions, planned meetings, webinars scheduled um, in your selected uh, iCloud Calendar. Uh, but this update will require you to uh, resync your iCloud external accounts. Uh, besides that, we were able to deliver the Albato integration. A lot of you uh, are Albato users also. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the Albato, it's a Zapier or Publi um, alternative, and you can now integrate sessions with Albato, um, connect your favorite app and automate all the workflows. Uh, also, we made some app translation updates. Um, the guests that join a session, the guests will be able to automatically see uh, the live session or the live event um, in the host's language, which can be selected from the profile. And those who have sessions accounts will be able to see uh, the UI translated in their own language. Um, then uh, we delivered um, custom SMTP and some server updates. Uh, this means that you are now able to set up your own custom SMTP um, server and emails, and you can uh, customize this from the organization uh, profile, organization settings, custom SMTP. Um, so you will be able to brand your emails. Then uh, we improved the exit page. Uh, you can now add uh, a final call to action to the exit page. Uh, and this feature was extended um, to all paid subscriptions. Then um, you can uh, play with book me and events and add call to actions here too. Uh, they are similar to the call to actions that you can add to the exit page. Um, we delivered some events updates. We redesigned uh, the flow of events. Participants can now join the lobby as you did with this webinar um, and wait there um, for the event to start. Uh, while hosts, co-hosts and speakers can also join the lobby and start the event from there. Uh, we redesigned the onboarding flow. So right now new users will uh, find an interactive onboarding widget on their homepage. This intuitive guide will seamlessly walk them through uh, the most important features, ensuring that um, the new users are able to uh, leverage the platform's full potential. Uh, then we come up with, uh, we came up with another um, updates for the events. Uh, and you requested us to limit the number of participants, and we delivered that for some restricted events when you don't want to have more than, let's say, 20 or more than 50. You can now limit the number of people who can register for your event. And when the limit is reached, um, participants will see a message informing them that uh, there are no more seats um, available. Besides that, we were able to deliver SMS reminders via Twilio, um, and you can create personalized templates to send SMS reminders to your bookings or your events. Uh, but what's next? Now for the upcoming list, um, here we are talking about some cool things. Um, first, uh, ticketing on Book Me and events. You will be now able to charge for your private sessions or for your webinars. Um, we are about to deliver the audio widget, so you will be able to play music um, in the background. Then um, you can uh, customize your feedback form. Um, we are working hard right now to revamp the view modes. We will allow you to be more flexible when um, playing with the view modes. And also um, something very cool, um, the dev team worked around the clock to deliver this today in order to celebrate our webinar. This is already live in production. You can check for live streaming 
it was delivered a few minutes ago. So thank you, Dev team, for doing that and pushing hard to deliver it uh, just in time. And uh, you know our creed. Sessions is a community first platform and co-creation is the only way forward. So please uh, keep on uh, send feedback to us um, and um, help us improve the platform based on your use case. Uh, thank you so much. Um, right now, Johnny will take the lead and he will present the contest to you. Thank you. Hey, everyone. So uh, if somebody can add me in the spotlight, or I I'll add myself. Cool. Uh, uh, so uh, thank you all for joining. Thank you, Savian, for the updates. As you can see, uh, things are moving uh, in, in sessions and with sessions with the product. And I think I will start uh, from where Savian left off that uh, sessions is a community first uh, product. This means that uh, we want to encourage our existing community members and our existing users to uh, spread the word uh, about sessions and uh, help us make this community even bigger than it is and even more uh, full of life uh, than it is. And um, our affiliates program is working uh, very well. I, I mean, uh, a lot of you have shared the links. A lot of you have started uh, helping us uh, attract new users. And we want to thank you uh, for that. And uh, the only way besides making the product cool and besides uh, making sure that uh, the product is up to your expectations is by creating these sorts of interactions or contests. Um, and today I'm here to speak to you about the 2,500 monthly uh, contest that we are uh, uh, launching, where anyone that is basically a user of sessions has the possibility to win $2,500 uh, through a lottery. I'll explain the mechanics later. Uh, by sharing uh, the link to uh, to sessions, their referral link or their affiliate link, so all you have to do is create an account, and automatically you will become you'll have you'll be generated the referral link, and that's very easy. But if you want to join our affiliates program, then uh, you can go uh, visit our resource page or on our website, the, the become a partner uh, page, where you can uh, see how that works. Um, you do not need to do anything special uh, to enter the contest. Uh, if anyone buys a subscription using your link, then automatically you enter the contest. And for each $5 uh, that is sold through your referral link, you get an entry. So depending on the volumes of sale your uh, uh, referral link or affiliate link uh, generates, you have more chances of winning uh, the the contest. It, if you like, it's a ponderate uh, uh, equation, uh, the, the way uh, this will work. At the end of each month, we will do a randomized uh, lottery. Uh, each individual person that made the sale will join that lottery with the number of entries uh, that is uh, attributed to uh, to them. Uh, and we will pick a winner. Uh, that winner, of course, will be notified via email. We will reach out to them. We will uh, require the, the, the bank transferring uh, uh, details. And in a term of 30 days, we'll make the payment to you. Um, if you do not want to participate, then please let us know. So uh, you can leave uh, 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 space for the or increase the chances of uh, other uh, contestants in this in this contest. But I don't think this is the case. But just to let you know, if you decide, and this is a possibility. And again, if you need help uh, while trying to sell sessions, while trying to promote sessions, we are here to help you. So you are not in this alone. Uh, it's not uh, we. We want to help you and we want to work together with you, first of all, in understanding what materials you need, uh, what information you need, 
And also we need you to, to provide us with feedback. For example, if you are unsuccessful in closing a sale or if someone gives you a feedback about uh, our pricing or about sessions as a product, it's very important that you let us know because this way we can uh, make things better. We can uh, understand the needs of our uh, community and the needs of potential new users that are looking towards solutions like ours to uh, to make it more appealing to them and in turn increase your chances of making a sale increase our user base increase your chances to win uh, the 2500 uh, uh, prize uh, just as a, a disclaimer the prize is on top of any other revenue generated from our uh, uh, referrals and affiliates program so it's not deducted it's it, it's on top so you will still receive the 40 percent as uh, uh, Carla, I'm sure, did a great job explaining to you. And also, uh, you can find the info on our website. Uh, so you do not need to worry uh, about uh, uh, losing the, the revenue generated from your sales. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, the, the main idea is help us help you uh, uh, generate sales. So please tell us all your feedback that you gathered. Uh, please tell us what uh, info you need or materials. And um, other than that, uh, I hope uh, uh, the winner is uh, amongst the, the people attending here today. Um, on, at the end of the month, or at the end of April, we will announce uh, our, uh, our winner. So, yeah, uh, that's about it from my side. Please ask all the questions that you want. Uh, we are here to answer them. Brilliant. Let's take a look at the questions. All right. We don't have uh, our technical whiz with us today, Roswan, but we'll try our best to answer everything we can. Um, Carl wants to know, is there any update on the green screen quality? I don't know. Savion, do you know? We are working to update the backgrounds um, our video conferencing provider is working to come up with a solution we are working to come up with a solution of our own and hopefully we will be able to mix the two solutions as soon as possible and deliver a better experience because i think at least 75 percent of our users are asking for this and are using this and we are going to come up with updates, but I don't have an estimate date so far. We know about this. It's a known issue. We are working to fix it. And when we will have it, we will come up with all the details and we'll make an announcement. Okay. Andy asks, can we expect full screen when presenting or screen sharing soon? I'm guessing this will require a huge update to the desktop app. Yes this will be possible via our desktop app while in browser we have to obey some limitations that are imposed by the browser uh, not by the sessions platform and we are working to come up with these uh, capabilities for the desktop app um, and also uh, i think we are working as i said in the presentation to improve the view modes so maybe we will be able to enlarge the space dedicated to screen sharing while in browser too, not only in, uh, in the desktop app. So we are working. I would also like to add yeah. something here. Go so uh, I know that um, it's not referring 100% to the questions, but uh, it is uh, in relationship with alternatives for the browser. Uh, version of our uh, of our product we are working intensely on the desktop app and on the mobile app on the mobile app we uh, are currently integrating the agenda and the two the tools view so you will be able to see uh, youtube videos you will be able to see pdfs you'll be able to see whiteboards and interact with them uh, so we are trying to bring the applications the desktop and the mobile applications up to uh, the quality and functionality richness of our uh, browser-based uh, uh, app so um yeah 
we are working on this uh, very hard. And your feedback again is is precious because we want to to do it the right way from the start. So we do not want to yeah. have to make uh, future uh, changes. We want to uh, hit it from the start. Thank you, Andy. Tonya, uh, I missed the part about event ticketing. Can you repeat what you've added there? Not yet added. We are working uh, on it. It will be soon uh, delivered. But you will be able to ask for money um, for people who are attending your webinars or for your private sessions. So you will be able to charge uh, and uh, the, all the mechanics will be integrated with sessions. Um, but we will provide all the details as soon as possible when this thing will be live. I am expecting to have it in, let's say, at most two or three weeks, at most. It's almost now. Cool. Pat wants to know if we have any updates on repeating events. Um, repeating meaning recurring, I guess. Yeah, I guess like so, events. We have two, two kind of updates here. For recurring events, we are working to deliver a system very similar to what we are currently um, offering for uh, sessions. So they will be able to have recurring events as easy as they can uh, create recurring sessions. And also we will uh, deliver soon the evergreen webinar. So we will be able to replay one webinar as long as you want for as many people as you want. I hope I'm able to cover all the angles here. Cool. Prashant asks, are there any updates on improving the recording quality? When, can, when will we be able to download in full HD? Um, as far as I can tell, we are offering um, 1080. So that's full HD, as far as I can tell. But the recording quality may be affected by a series of other uh, events and other factors. Uh, but um, we are also working to improve the quality. This works in tandem with uh, improving the background and uh, improving uh, a lot of um, a lot of things uh, for the video conferencing. I would like to add something here yeah. regarding the the video quality. Um, video by itself is uh, is a very complex thing, especially especially when you are doing it from 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 a browser. This is the reason why we are doubling down our on our desktop and mobile applications because once you have access directly to the camera of the user, then you can uh, stream uh, with uh, a bigger quality. You can control the video aspects in a in a better way. Um, so, because there are a lot of moving parts in video conferencing in a browser base, uh, from the OS, the operating system version, to the browser that you use, to your internet bandwidth, to uh, the region you are in. So, there are a lot of variables that we need to, to balance. So, uh, sometimes uh, the balance may be a little bit off, but we are working to smooth out the edges and uh, lower down the, the number of incidents. Um, but we truly believe that once we have the apps at a, a, a good uh, stability, then uh, these issues or a lot of people might choose to move to uh, native apps as the desktop one or the iOS or Android one. So this is something that uh, will improve the, not only the, 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 the video quality, quality in general, because I see uh, some questions here regarding the, the video quality as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, this question ties into that uh, from Sinisa. Sinisa also sent me some really good feedback uh, about the affiliate program. So thank you for that. Um, so he says, thanks for all the updates. They are great. But it looks like the video quality has dropped since the last community call with Radu um, and team. And also on today's call, I'm noticing a lot of sound quality fluctuation. Any planned improvements on this? I think this is 
this is a user base uh, issue. So, for example, I'm hearing uh, uh, Carla and Savian very well, but we might be in the same region. This is not to say that you do not have uh, uh, audio fluctuation. I'm sure you do. Um, another uh, thing uh, or, or an interesting aspect is our volumes have grown a lot since we, we, we switched uh, video providers. And the number of feedbacks we received regarding poor video quality have went, went down. So it seems like we are doing something right, but there still remain some use cases or some edge cases where uh, we have uh, issues. Um, we are working on that again. As as I thought, this is I don't think we will ever stop working on the video quality or improving uh, the, the sound quality and the video quality. This is an ongoing topic, uh, especially on the the, the browser uh, app. Uh, but from what we see, is an Im uh, it, it's an improvement. Again, I'm not saying that what you, uh, your question is not valid. I'm sure it is valid. We know we have edge cases. We are working uh, uh, very hard to fix them. Uh, but we noticed an, uh, an improvement. Uh, please, uh, if you can share more details after the call, maybe uh, to our support, uh, team telling us uh, on what device you are uh, on, or maybe you, if you can share more details about the connection, the region where you are from. Again, if if you want, if you want to do this, uh, that would help us a lot, and we uh, will certainly investigate that. Thank you. All right. Dan asks, will there be an option to have a window that we can separate from the desktop app to be used in a teleprompter while maintaining the main screen on our desktop at the same time? Uh, this is a great question. We have something here. Uh, we have delivered uh, the speaker notes. We can use them as a teleprompter 1.0, but we are working to come up with a real teleprompter uh, as soon as possible. This feature is uh, in our backlog. Uh, but once again, I don't have an exact date for it. But others users uh, already asked about it. Uh, the team is looking for uh, a solution and I'm positive that we will have it soon. I noticed that the presenter's sound quality is poor. Is it your mics or the platform? I'm curious to know if you notice a difference in mine because this is the first time during a webinar I'm using an external microphone and not my built-in one. Or maybe it's at my end um, because I'm near Johnny and maybe you can hear the echo. We are in the same office. And this might be the case, I don't know. Um, but as far as our dev team tested the app, um, for the moment, there are no known issues uh, with the sound quality. We will investigate this webinar uh, when it ends, and we will come up with a solution if uh, a new issue appeared. Just, just as a joke, uh, Savian and Livia do a lot of demos in Carla as well, uh, do a lot of demos and probably Savian's mic is a little bit tired and this is why he's like, uh, uh, I, I don't know the English translation, but <sighs> and that's why maybe you have some background noise. I, I can hear the background noise as well from, from Savian. Uh, it's certainly a hardware thing here uh, because, uh, yeah, we are very close to each other and my laptop does not have a uh, background noise and his does. So we will investigate. Thank you. Thank you again for, for pointing this out. Uh, yeah, here I am. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, cool. Uh, so thank you for, for the question. Just, just as a joke, we, we treat these things very seriously, but from time to time, uh, we need to, we need to, to, to laugh a, a little. <laughs> All right, Michelle, will you be able to directly integrate with community platforms like Heartbeat? So uh, I would like to take this one. Um, we we plan to be a very open uh, platform. This is why we offer the webhooks and the uh, APIs. And also uh, you saw that uh, if the number of requests or feature requests for a certain uh, integration uh, is relevant, 
uh, then we uh, prioritize that uh, integration and uh, we will uh, we will certainly build one um, I don't know the exact count for a heartbeat integration for a, a community for the community platform heartbeat uh, for integration with them uh, if this number uh, or if this feedback will be recurring of course we will look into that um, but uh, yeah, again as a joke let's see if they Maybe they want to integrate with, with us, or maybe uh, th their community wants to jump on our community and help us uh, sail through through your affiliate uh, links. Okay, Luai wants to know what about remote control? So we are working to provide remote control and to be able, um, it will be usable uh, while in app. Uh, it's a feature that will be only accessible via our uh, app. So uh, it's in the making. Once again, no exact date, but in the making. Hmm. And in the meantime, the closest thing is my product too. Absolutely. Yeah. If Lydia can help us with a link uh, to my product tool in chat, maybe people will find it uh, useful. Thank you. Cold says, I realized it appears to be Sorian's mic. It sounds yeah. like a waterfall behind him. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, that's because we are uh, so close on to each other. So uh, background noise interferes with our communication. Um, any updates on the people access? Uh, yes, our legal team uh, said that they made advances here. Uh, but please email your use case. I will forward that email um, to the dev, to the legal team, and then I will reply based on your use case. Uh, we did a series of steps um, towards this direction. A lot of users requested uh, HIPAA compliance and VPAs, and so, on. so we made some advancements here. But uh, I have to check with the legal team to uh, be able to offer you a coherent answer. We have some very good feedback here from Tracy. Um, can memory be segmented so that I only see sessions or events in that particular workspace? At present, I have access to everything in each workspace. However, for the sake of each brand's privacy, I would prefer not to have this level of visibility. So I think we should definitely share that with the team. Exactly. Mm. Great. Exactly. Thanks, uh, Tracy. Yeah, thank you, Tracy. All right. In the app, will there be an option to personalize the viewing settings, i.e. branding, minimizing the speaker view while screen sharing or moving their location to a different part of the screen? Yeah, yeah, you can already do uh, a lot of these things. You can use branding, you can uh, minimize the speaker, but it's only for you. You can drag the video tile, uh, but it's only for you. You cannot enforce this view mode uh, to other participants, but we will improve the speaker uh, view mode um, while in a presentation, so you will be able to completely minimize it. Right. Looks like that's all, unless someone posts another question. Um, thank you all. Yeah, thank you. Oops. Uh, I don't see any more questions, so I guess that's that's it for today. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christian. <laughs> um, yeah, so on the screen you'll see the uh, Thrive with us. If you want to join the affiliate program, please feel free. Would love, I would love to have you there. Um, and thanks for joining today. Oh, and wait. please email us for uh, the details regarding the contest. Please email us if you have any feedback. Email us if you want to know more about anything. We are always here. You can also, uh, you can also join our Slack community. Uh, we are 
uh, pushing hard to reply to all your uh, questions and your answers. Here's the link for the Slack community. Um, mm. Join us and try to uh, send all your thoughts to us. Thank you so much. So, so uh, we have we have some questions, Savian. Mm. So. Um, Regarding the ETA for a call-in feature uh, on sessions for people who don't have the option for video, uh, our priority now is to stabilize the video conferencing. Our priority now is to stabilize recording and the, the live transcript because these have had, again, a lot of hits uh, when it comes to feature requests or improvement requests. So this is how we prioritize things uh, according to your needs and your wishes. Our, our, our entire user base, not just our community, but our entire user base. Uh, we know that uh, a call-in feature uh, is something that other platforms have, and we do have it down the road. We do not have it on our roadmap at a specific date at the moment, but once we uh, uh, smooth out, as I told you, the, the recording, the, the uh, live stream, the uh, payments, the evergreen webinars, and so on, the other features that we have promised and we have been uh, and we started working on, we will certainly look into this direction, and uh, you guys will be the first uh, people to know. Um, yeah, uh, if we can help you in any way, if you have if you have difficulties with some of your attendees uh, in, in sessions that I don't know, maybe do not have a video options. Maybe we can figure a way out for you to uh, uh, use sessions uh, without the calling feature. Maybe on audio only. Uh, so let's uh, let's see if there's a, a solution for you uh, without the the calling feature. All right. Um, Tonya wants to know, will you have a regular town hall schedule? We kind of do. We want to do one town hall per month. So uh, we are doing this. We already did four this year, including this one. And our next one will be uh, in May as soon as possible. We have to um, manage the orthodox easter uh, but we will find a way last question from christian forms problem with the checkbox the sentence length is too short thanks for this feedback christian i think i believe that's an easy fix not a yeah. technical goal but i think so, so please push it please push it uh, uh, so please send it as a feedback so we have it in our product board. So we, we, we take it into consideration just to be sure that it is not lost uh, in a recording uh, of this session. So please send it uh, that way. We treat all of your feedback with great uh, uh, seriousness. Uh, sometimes delay might appear in our support, but we are doing our best. We are really, we, we are really uh, pushing it hard to answer all your uh, uh, questions or uh, feedbacks in, in due time. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you again for the uh, for being implicated in this project. And uh, yeah, keep keep up the good work. Thanks. Um, and I will send the the feedback from today to Product Board of, straight after. So good. Cool. Thank you, Carla. All right. Thanks everyone for joining us. It was a good one. <laughs> Must have a yeah. lovely day. Have a nice day, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure seeing and talking to you all here. Yeah. Um, see you in the next one. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Bye bye. Us. And thank you. Bye. bye. Have a great day. Bye bye. bye.